Yeah, these bitches keep calling me handsome, uh Back in the eat the banana, uh I fell in love with a dancer Said a Zodiac song was a cancer, uh Fuck the Moussain with a phantom, uh Dump the whole four in the phantom, uh Dump the whole four in the phantom Hey yo, what is up, G-Fam? I'm back at it again doing another freaking vlog today, guys. Oh, man. <sighs> gotta tell you guys, son. My Instagram account got deleted. Well, deactivated again. But I got it back last night, two nights ago. And uh, they didn't really tell me why they deactivated it. I'm praying that it doesn't get deactivated again because I'm in a little situation. In a little uh, bad situation. <sighs> Guys, I just got back from the hospital uh, Saturday night. Today's Wednesday. Saturday afternoon. I went to ride with a couple of my friends. And uh, I took a mean spill trying to scrape the back of my fender. And damn, I'm on the boot. But I'm on the bike, though. I'm on the bike. You tripping. I'm on the bike. I'm always on the bike, yo. I'm always on the roll. Look, look, look. Damn. I'm always on the roll. But yeah, guys. I fell off the bike. I was trying to scrape like, ah, oh, man. It, look, this is what happened. I was trying to scrape the back fender. Who's calling me? Grandma's calling me. I was trying to scrape the back fender of my bike, but, you know, I was also, I was practicing. I almost fell. I was practicing over there at Deaton Watson. And, you know, Deaton Watson is like a, part, a big parking lot. There's not really cars there. But the Delaware River is like right next to it. And um, it was a little windy. I picked up my bike, I went literally, gave it one, two, three, popped the clutch, boom, I went up. When I went up, next thing you know, when pushed me to the right, I was like, oh, lost control. And then I wasn't going fast or anything though. It just I just lost control. But yeah, I went to the right, fell on the, my bike fell, the foot peg, I, I'm guessing the foot peg fell on my bike. Well, the foot peg fell on my bike. The foot peg fell on my leg and it went inside of my leg. Right now, guys, I got like 25 to 30 stitches in my foot right now. Yeah. Just got back from the doctors, though. They said that I'm good. I'm about to take a trip to Columbia in the next, by next Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. Next Tuesday, I'm out and I'm going with the boot. You already know the vibes, man. But I'm going to get, I'm going to still be turned. I don't care about this foot. I'm, I'm still walking. I'm still willing in this, John. Man, I'm cool. I'm cool. But yeah, guys. That's the little update with your boy Gio. I am crippled. I'm literally crippled right now, but it's cool. I'll be back soon. I'm ready to ride again, though. I missed my bike. That was a scary day, though. You guys should have seen, like, when I fell, the foot peg went right into my foot. I got up, fell right back down because I stepped on my right foot. Went right back down. Boom. I was like, oh. I look down, there's blood gushing, like gushing out of my foot. Matter of fact, let me show y'all my forces. Cause I was wearing forces, I think. That's, that's one mistake I did right there. Ooh. Oh, my bike running away. All right, these are my forces. They got blood, oh, hold up. They got blood all over them, literally all over them. That's nasty. Take it out. Take it back. Man. That's nasty. That's literally like the inside of the shoe is just gross. But I was, I had blood everywhere. The doctor, she cut my, yo, but I was mad at the doctor. I was really mad. She cut my Adidas pants, my favorite ones. I had a, I had a humongous hole on my butt on, in those Adidas pants, and she wanted to cut them and make them worse. I was just like, damn, dog, there's a zipper at the bottom of my, like, but whatever. But yeah, guys, doctor said two weeks, I give. I come back from Columbia in two weeks. Once I get back, I gotta go straight to the doctors, go get the stitches cut out, and then um, I get the stitches cut out. After that, two days later, I go to Mexico. Oh man, I can't wait for that too. Ah, uh, but when I come back from Mexico, believe me, I'm gonna be outside. <laughs> I'm gonna be outside. I don't care, man. I gotta be outside. But I also got a package right here. Got. Uh, I gotta take the bike to ink. I'm about to show y'all what I got. I got something for the bike. All right, right here. Y'all see that? That right there is S paint. I'm about to power code the bike. Once I get, I, I'm going to see if I, I might see if somebody can take the bike to my friend's house, to Ant's house, and see if he can start power coding it while I'm away. But then at the same time, I don't know, because I don't really like leaving my bike anywhere that, like at other people's houses. Cause, you know, people can ride it. 
when I'm not there and I don't I won't know they might mess it up not tell me I gotta pay for it like no 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 I don't got time for that crap but I'm gonna figure it out but yeah guys if y'all haven't already liked and subscribe subscribe to this video right now you guys already know the vibe Instagram name is right here again yeah, it should be right here yeah right here right here and uh guys stay tuned to the next video if you haven't already followed my new instagram go follow it zero n e w a y dot g i o one way dot g o you stay tuned guys uh keep that wheel up you're hot <laughs>